Hey everyone, my name is Heather and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's workout I'm going to share with you is a full body workout. The only piece of equipment that's required is a chair or a bench or something that you can do some tricep dips off of. If you don't have that equipment, that is okay. We can also do it just from the floor. So I do have a really exciting announcement. I started a new Instagram page. My Instagram handle is heatherfit.ca. I'm going to have it pop up there. So on this Instagram, I'm going to be sharing different wellness tips, workouts that you can swipe through and save to your phone for later if you want to, you know, bring it to the gym or use it at home. Um, I'm also going to be sharing different healthy recipes. And so if that sounds interesting to you at all, I'm going to put the link in my description below so you can go and give my Instagram a follow. Okay, I think I've done enough talking, so we're just going to jump right into this workout. I really hope you enjoy it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a full body body weight workout coming at ya. We're gonna start by doing reverse lunges. I want you to give me 30 on each leg. For the lunges, if you wanna do one leg at a time, go for it. Or if you want to add a little bit more intensity, you can step back and alternate between legs. All right, a couple of quick form tips for lunges. So what you want to do is start by standing up nice and tall and you're going to step back with one foot. You want both of your knees to be 90 degrees and that bottom leg to be parallel to the floor when you're at the bottom of the lunge. You're going to come down with control and remember to push through those quads to come back up. One other thing is I want you to make sure that your feet are hip width apart. So you wanna pretend that you're standing on two different railroad tracks. You don't want your feet to crisscross each other. Okay, I got my last three, two, and one. We're gonna switch to the other side. Shake that off and let's get ready. You know what to do, give me 30. Okay, we got three, two, and one. Excellent job. For our next exercise, we're going to be doing sumo squats. So I want you to give me a nice wide stance with those toes slightly turned out. You're gonna squat straight down to about 90 degrees and you're gonna come back up. I want you to give me 30 sumo squats. At the top of the movement, I want you to squeeze your glutes together. Don't arch your back or try to thrust those hips forward. Just come up nice and controlled and squeeze your glutes at the top. You've got this.
Okay, I got three, two, and one. Excellent job. We're gonna move into the next exercise where you're gonna wanna grab some kind of chair or surface because we're gonna do tricep dips. If you don't have a chair, don't worry, I got you covered, just stay tuned in one second. I want you to give me between 12 and 15 tricep dips. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come a little bit off the chair and you're gonna dip straight down with those elbows pointing towards the back of the room. If you don't have a chair, you can come down to the floor and you can do mini tricep dips. If you find having bent knees too easy, you can also straighten those legs for an added challenge. All right, when you're ready for these tricep dips, I want you to give me between 12 and 15 of them. Let's go. All right, excellent job. Shake it off and we're gonna move our chair out of the way. When you're ready, you're gonna come back down to your mat. We're gonna be doing plank with a row. So you're gonna start in a plank and one hand at a time, you're gonna pull that elbow back and squeeze the shoulder blade together in a rowing type motion. I want you to give me 20 rows or 10 on each side. As a modification, you're welcome to just do a regular plank. You can do it from your knees or from your toes. If you'd like to use weights, you're more than welcome to. I'm not even gonna lie with you guys, I was dying this day, so I took a little pause, reset, and got right back into those rows. If you need to take a break, there's no shame in that. Take your time and come back and hit it strong. I just wanna add that I know when I first started getting into fitness, I used to always think that, you know, if I couldn't do certain moves, that maybe the workout was too hard for me and I should try an easier workout, but that's not actually true. The only way that we build our muscles and grow and get stronger is by doing the exercises that we find challenging. Our biggest priority should be our form and making sure that we're doing the exercises properly. So if you need to take a little rest between exercises, that's great. Get back up and keep going. Keep pushing yourself. You've got this. Okay, next exercise is one of my favorites. You're going to come down onto your back and we're going to do bicycle crunches. So you're going to tap your opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So you don't want to use your hands to pull your head up. That movement should come from the core. We're gonna do 10 of these on each side, so 20 in total, and then we're gonna take a rest before we do it one more time. Great work, take a stretch and we're gonna repeat that one more time. Last exercise, we're gonna end on a happy note. We're gonna do jumping jacks. So I want you to give me energy for these. Remember to land with soft knees. I want you to do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Okay, let's go.
Almost there, but we're not quite done yet. I want us to transition into some star jumps. Give me 10. Just like that, we're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.